Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, someone by the name of Dahao saw our abilities and wants to have a word with us at the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery. So let's go there and have a word with him. You right, mate? I always feel like we're missing something here at the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery, but I can never remember what. You've come at just the right time. Help me rule out some possibilities. Say, so tell me what you do think of our office is missing. Say, so tell me what you do think. It's got to be, what do you think? That makes more sense. Say, so tell me, what do you think our office is missing? Um, Promo material showcasing the work of the Realm Keeping Commission? Not that. I raised this with Ying Yang before. Whether we should be better at promoting how good the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery is at what it does, but she gave me a list of all the things we've done recently, and there isn't really anything to be proud of. Once we crack a major case that even the Ten Lords Commission can't solve, then I'll let the whole exalting sanctum know about how great the Realm Keeping Commission is. Until then, we'll keep things on the down low. Oh. Is now really the time to be thinking about that, though? Yeah, I can't figure it out even if I wreck my brain. I think I'll play a few rounds of Celestial Jade after work and think it through then. Alright, let's get down to business. Young lady, what do you want? Well, I, you, you, what do you mean what I want? You told me to come here. I heard you require my assistance. Oh, that's right. Yeah, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. I bet it is. My Realm Keeping Commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. All in a day's work. Seems to be a catchphrase at the moment. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. More and more citizens... In particular, those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara Struck have taken on a horrifying appearance, as if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. So you need me to eliminate the Mara Struck? Uh, do you think there might be a hidden agenda at play? That appears to be the case. No smoke without fire, as they say. Despite being just a servant of the Realm Keeping Commission, spending a considerable amount of time on the front lines has sharpened my senses to potential dangers. You're a capable person, and since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of time before you run into Marastruck. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? Hmm. Select an item to submit. Why would I submit that? Like what? An energy drink sugar free? I'll go for it. What are these items though? Not totally sure, but we'll, we'll, we'll submit that and see what he says. Uh... What's this? Looks pretty ordinary to me. Come on now. This is a serious matter. There's no time for jokes. Ooh. Okay, uh, when I was dealing with the Marastruck, I found this. So how, what, what is, what is this? IPC designer invite. And a healing spray. Okay, fair enough. It, it's it's going to be this, though, the undelivered letter. 
Nahao carefully reads the letter you delivered. His expression reflects his disbelief as he reads it again. Nahao sweats profusely as he apologizes and bolts away. After a while, he returns with a girl. I... I read the letter. I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the Seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. Allow me to introduce Madame Ching Zhu, General Jing Yuan's Chief Counselor. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. Hello, how do you do? Oh. Mm. I read the letter you obtained from the Mara Struck. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders, tracking down clues on the Mara Struck. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. Are you talking about the pharmacological experiment mentioned in the letter? That's right. Since the Alliance was first established, all medical practices aboard the Xianzhou adhere to strict standards that prohibit long life or mutant modifications under the guise of curing. I went through all our files to find information on the experiment in question, and found nothing. I started thinking about how the Alchemy Commission's delve was sealed off. There must be an unspeakable secret locked away there. The author of this letter was likely the Marastruck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. But to what end? Like, why is this all about, really? Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. Ah, there we go. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The Seat of Divine Foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the Seat of Divine Foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. That sounds good to me. Excellent. Your work will not be in vain. The Seat of Divine Foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around Exalting Sanctum. Maybe you could start there? We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. You are a fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you. I can understand your point of view there. It'd be wary at times like these. <laughs> Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need help. I will do if I need help. So, where exactly are we going around there? Cultured people love. I don't need believe to in ghosts. Clean to your star skiff service. <laughs> Look no further. Looking for someone suspicious. Excuse me. Guest from another world, please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? I yearn for pa Yes, I do. Excellent. Who would turn down the opportunity to live forever? The Xianzhou doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short-life species. 
They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Sure. Let's go. Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Found him quickly. Here we are. This is the place. Uh, how do I gain immortality? Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group and there'd be no need for secrecy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as Disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a Disciple. But to become a Disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Ooh, this could be fun. What kind of trials do you have for me? Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. So what is this Cloud Knight doing here? No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. I want to know what these trials are. Uh, but I've got to ask these questions before we continue with it. Uh, don't the people abhor the abundance? Ha! Only those led astray by followers of the devilish archer could despise merciful Medicus. Sadly, there are many such people. Too many. What can I get from Sanctus Medicus? Every species yearns for the favor and curing of Merciful Medicus, regardless of whether they have heard of the Abundance or not. Foxians yearn to cure themselves of their 300-year lifespan. The Fidiatera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. As for Sienjo natives, they long to cure themselves of the torture of becoming Mara-struck, of course, we know that this torture is rather a kind of blessed evolution. Blessed evolution? Okay. To return to your question, Sanctus Medicus can cure the aging that short life species face. Along with disease and death, Sanctus Medicus can do for you what they did for the Sienjo natives. Okay, so what kind of trial do I have to pass then? What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith and you to become a disciple. That's all I have to do to earn trust, but at the same time, do I have to actually do that? This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course, this is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. Can, can I get a pen? Don't worry. A traditional Sienjo brush and ink stone has been prepared for you. Smooth action and an ergonomic design. I myself transcribed 50,000 copies with such instruments. Okay, here we go. Then 500 times we have to do this? Oh no. 
You start copying the thousand-handed merciful Medicus Salvation. Once upon a time, the thousand hand Sanctus Medicus traveled the world with their 99,999 disciples living under Rahu and teaching their way. Your index fingers are like cramp and your shoulders feel a bit sore. But you've only made the first copy. There are still 499 copies waiting to be written. As they spoke the words, the 19... 99... 1,999 disciples were liberated from youth, old age, sickness, and suffering. After making the final stroke, you catch the cloud knight in your peripheral vision as he gestures at you. Hey, stop writing! Get over here! But I need to write. But... Can I carry on? I'm gonna carry on. You lower your head, you become closed off to the world around you as you quietly copy the text. Your hand and shoulder are experiencing more pain, but you've only produced two copies. Keep doing it, keep doing it. <laughs> I'll do for all 500 if I have to. The mercy of Sanctus Medicus, the ambrosial arbor's new growth. Disciples shall attain enlightenment together. You finished the third copy. This sentence has started to reverberate with you, within your being. More. More. We'll do all 500 if we have to. Your hand and shoulder no longer hurt. Maybe you've gotten used to the work. Or perhaps they have grown numb. Probably numb. You complete the fourth copy. Oh my god. As you write out the fifth copy, the cloud knight near you no longer can wait in silence. He quietly comes up next to you. Stop writing! You want to fall under their spell? I'll finish it for you. Go keep a lookout. The Cloud Knight swiftly scribbles away and finishes copying the sacred text while the disciples watching over you aren't looking. Alright, finally. I know you. You're General Jingyuan's honored guest. Uh, looks like I'll have to make sure no one finds out. Wait, wait a second. You're here undercover, right? So am I. Sure you are, mate. I'm a Cloud Knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here, to spy on him. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. I find this incredibly suspicious. Is this the test? The trial? Of course, they're bound to have their doubts when you're dressed like that. <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. What's, what's your next plan? Shh, keep your voice down. These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the Seat of Divine Foresight. Transcribe scripture. Alright then. Hmm. Find that suspicious. Anyway. Take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand-handed merciful Medicus's salvation to permeate your being. I finished it. You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Ah. Huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. So, can I join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus now? Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. The Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. 
Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. Whoever survives will officially become a disciple. Uh, why? I'll pass. There's nothing that can be done. I didn't write the rules. If you are unwilling to complete the initiation process, then we will have to ask that you keep our secrets hidden. Permanently. Oh, no, no, no. You misunderstand what I'm saying. I mean, I'll pass. The trial. Because I'm much stronger than this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm, fine, fine. But at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. Very well. But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. I don't really mind either. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time is precious. Make it quick. Oh, I'll make it quick. All right, let's go, mate. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. That way, we both accomplish our objectives. Oh, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up and actually kill me. I can't make any guarantees. Oh, just, uh, whatever. I got myself into this. Let fate decide. Just try and hold back a little, okay? So, have you prepared yourselves? Are you ready to fight? Oh, let's do it, mate. And you, Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm ready. Then, let's begin. Well then, take this! Oh dear, mate. Don't mess with me. This is gonna hurt you. Just so you know. Is that it? That's, that's all you had? Okay. I'm sorry! What magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you! I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Purple Chrysanthemum, Blue Peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Let me handle it. Oh, you've dealt with this kind of thing before? I mean, he's still breathing. You do, you do notice that, right? Do you doubt me? Not at all. As I said earlier, disciples never suspect who we accept. Hmm. This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devils. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take an active approach to getting things done. I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name, Grey Peony. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Until then. Could I have not picked my own name? I'm not a fan. 
You take the Cloud Knight to a safe place. <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? <laughs> no. You could see that you were alive. You, you were breathing. We just got lucky. Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. How... How are you still alive? Wait, you... You weren't holding back? He stares at your face for a long time before he realizes that you're joking. Uh, enough with the jokes already. It's a miracle either of us is alive. I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Stay safe, friend. The Cloud Knight vigilantly monitors his surroundings. After he's certain no one is tracking them, he makes a swift getaway. I wonder if we'll see him ever again. So wait for further contact. Down here? Down here. <laughs> Where, where's my stairs? Drop by the realm keeping commission. There's my stairs. Look at this little guy. Mushroom. After some time. Oh. Twitka, is everything going well? I've successfully infiltrated the... Sanctus Medicus. That's good. I've always believed in your abilities. Always. Someone just reported in. Did you save a Cloud Knight? Eh, it was nothing. I wouldn't call it saving. We had a successful collaboration. Thank you very much for your help. That Cloud Knight handed over all the intel to the Seat of Divine Foresight. If it weren't for your help, he'd have had a hard time getting away. As you've already infiltrated the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, please keep monitoring their activities. Anything I should focus on? I have mentioned before that a Cloud Knight named... Jisin? Went missing a few months ago. I want to know what happened to him, dead or alive, so I can give an answer to his family. Let's avoid contacting each other from here on. If you are seen going in and out of the seat of Divine Foresight, those disciples are sure to become suspicious of you. Please come back in one piece, otherwise the General will be quite upset with me. I imagine so. So meet up a green hibiscus at the Exalting Sanctum. Where? Over there. Where is he? Green Hibiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. What gives? Suspicious. There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? Grey Peony. This must be from Green Hibiscus. Grey Peony, you fully demonstrated your bravery and devotion to us. I'll now give you a chance to prove how loyal and reliable you are to this organization. This mission is of utmost importance, and I don't feel comfortable entrusting it to others. Only a fighter like you can handle such an important task. Yesterday, a disciple absconded in disgrace. She posted a letter as she defected. Based on our investigation, it's an urgent missive to the seat of divine foresight. It shouldn't have arrived yet. Intercept it and help us mitigate our losses. Once you finish this arduous yet glorious task, I will introduce you to the Exalting Sanctum's leader of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. So long as he assents, you can begin your journey on the way of immortality. The Disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum Psycrane stands. Ah, yes, the Psycranes. Right, I am thinking about ending this part here, and in the next part, we'll investigate the Psycrane stands. I'm going with the one up here first, obviously. So we shall see about them. I don't you believe in ghosts. clean to your star skiff service. <laughs> Look no further. Calm down, calm down. But yes, we'll check in with the Psycranes in the next part. Huh? But, 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 hold on. We're not actually <laughs> done yet. God. Because after what we just did, 
I did actually get level 50, as you can see. Trailblaze level 50, which means we can do Trial of Equilibrium Part 4. The Arbitrator's Trial is here once again. You're already well aware of its content, format, pros and cons, aren't you? Go then, for the sake of the Equilibrium. Let's go get that done. Then I can begin a grind, can't I? So, challenge. Let's begin. Still not got brawn you, by the way. Just so you know. Ooh. Enemies ahead. Up for a scrap? Indeed. Let's take out you first, then. So let's go stealth. Come behind. <laughs> you didn't see me there, did you? No. Oh, great. It's fine. Don't worry, Zila. We've got this. We've got this. Don't you worry. I'll free you from your chest. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. I'm strangely looking Illusions forward to of the past. a whole new you? set of levels because Seals is just going to get more and more powerful now. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be Everything awesome. ordained by the oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. But I thought it best to put it at the end of this part, though, rather than the start of the prepared. next part. So in the next part, we're ready to just kick it off straight into the story as we were and in between the parts I can go get quite a bit done because there'll be no a manners, little huh? bit of a grind to get a few things here and there for some characters this and I can get here. that done hopefully in between the parts what hopefully yeah. was that it oh dear who will it be so you are a freak. <laughs> You're done. Want to go? A sharp scythe needs targets. I do like these enemies ahead. Mechs. It's, it's a very good design. I really, really do like it. You, mate, are vulnerable. A little something for everyone. To quantum. So, oh dear. Good luck with that, mate. Ah, oh, great. Yep, indeed. I'll free you Throw from that your out on this guy. Among the sea How much we get in here? How much we get in here? Hmm. A bit stronger than I expected. Is that all? Isn't that always Good the way, you. though? Always the way. <laughs> Let's get the little guys on the side. Get the speed buff going. Oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Let me tend your wounds. Thank you very much. Oh, misery. Hope you're prepared. <laughs> Tis but a scratch. Who will it be? Need a doctor? We're not in need of a doctor. No, no. Disappear among the sea of this butterflies. This has to be it now. Come on. Illusions of the past. Decent, decent. And there we go. A sharp scythe needs targets. Job done. Job done. So that's us basically done now for this part, for definite this time. And in the next part, I will have done quite a bit to get my characters leveled up all over the place. So we shall see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.